Good morning, San Marcos. I am Mara Schaefer, um, a first grade teacher at Carrillo Elementary. And today I'm gonna read you Harry the Dirty Dog. This is one of my favorite stories. My daughters love it. Um, I enjoy this series because Harry gets into so much trouble. But I also love it because my dear friend, Mrs. Whalen, who teaches first grade at Carrillo, gave it to me. Okay, so I hope you enjoy Harry the Dirty Dog. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. One day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush. And buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. Can you see him? He's way up there. He played tag with the other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his home, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anybody seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them that he was Harry. He started to do all of his old tr clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and he played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate and suddenly he stopped. Harry ran to the corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon, he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He'd found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed with the family falling close behind. He jumped into the bath and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he had ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, Mommy, Daddy, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he had hidden under his pillow. Thank you guys for listening today. I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I do.